Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one treats an old exam question, which is about what we can derive from a certain equivalence. So, in this case, what do we know? What do we derive from the fact that A is equivalent to B? Well, if A is equivalent to B, it means that we can substitute A for B wherever we want, or the other way around. So let's take a look at what happens to our answers when we do that. The first answer becomes A implies A, or if you would prefer, B implies B. Now, if A is false, this thing is true, and if A is true, this thing is also true. So this thing is always true. Therefore, this is indeed a tautology. B and not A. What do we know about that, the second answer? Well, that we could read as B and not B, or A and not A. Again, pick whichever one you prefer. And, well, we already know, I write it down for completeness here, but we know that A and not A is a contradiction. So, yes. This is indeed a contradiction. Now what about answer C? Not A or B. This is the same as not A and not B. In other words, not A and not A. In other words, just not A. Well, if A is a contingency, then not A is also a contingency. But what if A is a tautology? Well, in that case, not A is going to be a contradiction, isn't it? Which means that, well, it means that this answer is false. It means that not A or B isn't guaranteed to be in contingency. When A is a tautology, not A or B is actually a contradiction. So this answer is false. So we've already found the right answer. It turned out to be answer C. But, well, let's give answer D a go anyway. B implies A implies B. Okay, so that's the same as B implies B implies B. So B implies B. Ah, we've seen this before. That was the first answer. So that one is always true. So something that's always true implies B. Ah, if this thing holds, right, that's what we've been given then it must mean that B is a tautology. Otherwise, what if we could have the case where 1 implies 0, which is false, so it wouldn't hold. So if it holds, then yeah, B must be a tautology. So if B is a tautology, well then A must be a tautology as well. So this is also correct. So there you go. Hopefully this clears things up a bit, and I'll see you around for the next one.